Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mosbo. And so today we're going to be talking about something for some reason. I realize a lot of you guys don't know about it and it makes sense. So I apologize for not getting to you guys earlier and showing you guys why it's important to do spotlight challenges. So previously we know that if you did the first five spotlight challenges, you would receive a magic Johnson, a diamond magic. I'm going to show you guys the set. Because I really, really need to get you guys aware of what happens to get the second set. So, I did the first three spotlights. Then I actually went away. That's why I never finished the next two. I never finished the Dirk. I never finished the Isaiah. I'm going to get to them eventually. Magic actually turned out to be subpar. Not something we really wanted. But, the new spotlight challenges, however or for something that we all should be going for and there is a reason for that i'm going to show you guys what the reason is why you guys should be doing these and i'll hopefully encourage you guys or show you guys how to get these done so if you guys go into your collection once you're there you're going to go into your rewards you can go to the spotlight rewards right that's what's most important you're going to see that this is the first set i told you guys i didn't get drumming I didn't get Marion, and that's how you get the Diamond Magic Johnson that runs the one. So from here, you guys know, Magic turned out not to be the greatest. He was like subpar badges, all that. He was a little outdated. That's the word we'll use. But I need to let you guys know that the next Spotlight Challenge, these are the cards so far that I've gotten. I've gotten the Giannis, the Blake, the Richard Jefferson. I make you guys tip videos on how to get these cards how to make it happen i know a lot of you guys say well i don't have the mt it costs 500k 450 800 whatever the price could be i try to give you guys the best tips that i have to get you guys to get that mt because at the end of the day i did not spend money on this game i did it the same way most of you guys did we grinded our way through i'm missing rick berry right now that's the only one i'm missing i'm gonna finish that up soon because next spotlight series we will be getting a mystery player ooh, mystery small forward power forward first of all that's incorrect we know who the player is second of all it's not a small forward power forward I'm gonna be showing you guys who the player is some of the stats we're gonna be taking a look at basically why this player is way better than the magic and if you guys should be grinding for it and let's take a look over here so according to nba 2k20 my team we know 2k has not been the best at telling us the truth sometimes they say things and it doesn't happen but it tells us galaxy opal collect the grand prize players for all the spotlight series 2 right spotlight series 2 that's the ones we were just going over the Giannis, the blakes the richards all that and earn a galaxy opal brandon roy so the best part about this card is we're letting the community decide design design i meant to say design we're designing the series two as the cards are released and all that so here we get to vote on the first badge that the galaxy opal brandon roy has so it was between range extender and hall of fame corner specialist so both hall of fame badges basically range extender won by a long side like it's insane because everyone knew that would have won like why would you want corner specialists like everyone could shoot in the corner range extended though pull up from the hash definitely something we wanted definitely something cool 2k added and then they gave us more options so it's time to vote on the next thing for the galaxy opal remember we're letting the community design the card yeah 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 you earn it by the five spotlight elite rewards yeah we already got hall of fame range extender after the first vote what other badges do you want and it was between clamps and quick draw and for some reason some some reason i don't know what it was but the community decided quick draw was the move when in reality clamp sounds like a way better option because honestly he's gonna get like gold quick draw anyway so everyone was like no what are you doing clamps and then all the casuals were like quick draw yeah make him shoot fast that makes more sense no clamps and then us as the guys that actually play this game were like come on come on bro we need clam so 2k obviously quick draw one but they gave us another option the next time around they already got two more badges coming through they said since it was close between quick draw and hall of fame clamps they brought back hall of fame clamps shout out to 2k for that 
they realized that a lot of us were upset about that. So they brought Hall of Fame clamps and they said there's four choices. They're going to give the top two the choices. So one of the choices was pickpocket, contact finisher, and deadeye. And deadeye won with the second most votes. So we got clamps, deadeye, range extender, and quick draw all Hall of Fame so far on this Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. So, a Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy, you should assume is gonna have more than that. These are just the ones we're voting on. They're trying to make it interactive, make us feel special, make us feel like they're doing something for us. But at the end of the day, honestly, we all know that they're gonna hopefully, hopefully, hopefully add way more badges towards this card. Cause this is gonna be a point guard slash shooting guard, we're assuming, that's my assumption. We're gonna all assume that. Hopefully not shooting guard small forward, even though that is an option. But let's pray it's point guard shooting guard. And then we're going to take a look at the last votes they did, which was between two things, which was Tyler's defender and pickpocket. And you guys can see pickpocket won. It was honestly pretty close, but so far we see it all right there. Range extender, Hall of Fame, quick draw, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame deadeye, and Hall of Fame pickpocket are the five badges we have so far. For this Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the card art for the card. Unfortunately, we don't have the actual stats for the card. But we're going to assume he's going to be better than these cards. Because you're grinding out all of these cards that cost you a lot, a lot of MT, right? They're going to cost you a lot to get him. And you see the three-pointers, the mid-ranges on these cards. You could just take a look. And you're going to assume he's only going to get better. So if Richard has a 93-3, 92 mid-range, you got to assume Brandon Roy is going to have more than that. You got to assume since this card has 17 Hall of Fame badges, you got to assume that one's going to have more than that. They're just helping us design. Cards do get better as time goes on. So we're going to assume this Brandon Roy is one of the best cards in the game. He's going to be the starting point guard on most teams. That's assuming... He gets the point guard nod. We do have a Brandon Roy already in the game, which is a diamond. I'm going to show you guys him right now, just so we could take a look. So this one was shooting guard small forward. Still a high chance we get a shooting guard small forward. I'm not saying we're going to get a point guard one. We don't really know. But at the end of the day, he's 6'6". Whether he is a 2, he's still a free, I repeat, free Galaxy Opal. Because once again, spotlight challenges are free to do. They are free to get. Don't get the narrative mixed up, man. You guys do not have to believe that you're spending all this money on packs and all that because I don't do that. This card, we see like the stats. You guys could take a look at the Brandon Roy. You guys know Brandon Roy from previous years. He's always been cheesy. He's always going to stay cheesy. He's always a fun card to use. I recommend this card. I know I recommended Magic, but I thought they would update it. At the time when we found out about Magic... We didn't really know what cards would be out. So at the time, a point guard magic just made so much sense. But they're not going to mess up twice. Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy should and will be the best point guard in the game, in my opinion. If he is a point guard. If he is a two guard, there are going to be cards that kind of make sense as well. Especially if we get token rewards by then. I think we'll get new token market rewards by then, hopefully. But regardless, I want Brandon Roy... I'm going to go for it. I hope you guys are too. I have videos, like I said, about how to do all the spotlight challenges. If you guys have any questions on any of them, please let me know. I will continue to show you guys how to make MT. While we're here, I'll tell you guys if you guys still need MT, what you guys should be doing. And that's mainly just selling. Make sure you have no silver cards. There's no reason to have silver cards. They do cost some MT. Chuck them up. You don't need heat check cards unless you're locking stuff in. If you have one, chuck it up, man. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Make sure you check out your premiums. Any sets you are complete with, like I'm done with these sets. I could sell these cards back. Some of these are going for something like the Zach Levine, I think is like four or five K. That's just sitting there. All this MT, if I sell all these cards right here, all these other cards, all these cards, I will make like 100K MT, maybe more. And then you got stuff in your miscellaneous that you don't need. Trust me, playbooks, you don't need all these playbooks, man. I only use one playbook max. So anything you guys aren't using, make sure you sell, whether that's coaches, whatever the case may be. You guys have a lot of MT just sitting there. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I got a bunch of diamond contracts sitting here. Whenever I feel like it, I'm going to sell them get my MT up whenever I feel like quick selling my shoes that takes a while but quick selling shoes is a method 
quick selling shoes is a thing if they are diamond shoes don't quick sell them obviously check their price you can always do that and then sell them individually same thing with any shoes that add three pointer you could always sell those as well you got uniforms for days check the prices on the uniforms sell them sell them sell them i have a collector video coming out for you guys hopefully tomorrow or the next day or whatever the case is so be on the lookout for that i've been getting my collector level up for you guys a lot of people been asking me about that so keep that in mind let me know what you guys think about this brandon roy if you're gonna be going for him if you're currently going for him we have about a week and a half left till the next spotlight comes out and from there that should be game time. I'm telling you guys, it should be game time. So yeah, guys, be on the lookout for that. I wish you guys the best of luck always. You already know the drill. If this helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form, share it to anyone else it could help. Leave me a good like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all later. It's been your boy, Most Bowling and Bowling.